isang magandang buhay, mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul at kasalukuyang kura paroko ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish diyan po sa FB Harrison, Pasay. Doing all for the gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng aking mga kaibigan at mga kapatid na pari, mga brothers, mga junior professed members, at mga seminarista po ng Society of St. Paul sa Pilipinas at Macau, gayon po ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila, at ng TV Maria, ang atin pong mission partner, kayo po'y inaanyayahan namin, makiisa, makimisa, ngayon po ang ikadalawampu-tatlo ng Pebrero 2020. Ito po ang huling linggo ng buwan ng Pebrero at ikapitong linggo sa karaniwang panahon. Ito rin po ang huling linggo bago tayo pumasok sa panahon na naman ng Kwaresma. Kumusta na po kayo? Siyempre po, atin pong nais na ipanalangin ang atin pong mga kasamahan, mga kasambuhay, yung mga homebound na mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po yung mga elderly at yung mga cancer patients, yung inyo pong mga caregivers, at gayon din po ang ating mga persons on duty, mga pulis, sundalo, doktor, mga health workers sa mga emergency rooms, and ang atin pong mga OFWs. Binabati rin po natin ang ating Canada-based na mga mission partners, ang grupo po ni Brother Alex Pideris, kasama po riyan si Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy at Alex Reyes, Dr. Joe Adorna Guzman, at Alicia Adorna at ang kanilang mga pamilya. Gayun din po, we would like to pray and greet si Leslie Masigan at ang kanyang pamilya, no? si Miguel, si Jake, si Sammy, si Tony at Lourdes Chowa, si Ed at Norma Arrojado, si George at Noemi Villarus ng Villarus and Villarus CPAs, gayun din po si Didith at Joey Jacob. Si Mariel Diaz ng Standard Marketing and Trading, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel, dyan po sa Marikina. Si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan, dyan naman po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong. Sana ay you are doing well. ha? Si Alma Gonzales na lately po ay dumalaw at uh, nag-birthday po. Ano? At uh, maraming salamat sa inyong love offering Si Catherine Pablos, si Chona At uh, si Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela May Asuncion Resio, Rachel Esteban At Leilani Paladio Himotea Gayun din po, nais po nating uh, uh, batiin ang ating mga kaibigan Diyan po sa Vigan at sa Bantay Ilocosur Si uh, Doms at uh, Lourdes Corpus, ha? si Dr. Lourdes Corpus. Si uh, John Alfred, Yasmin Rabena, Rebe, Rabena at uh, Mary Lord Rabena. No? So, gayon din po, we would like to pray for uh, our newfound friends na atin pong nakilala sa pamagitan ng iba't ibang mga pilgrimages ang Spell Group at Orange Group ng March 2019, ang Holy Land Group ng Journeys of Faith ng October 2018, kinabibilangan po ni na Father Randy, Charlie, Joe Alves, at si Father Joy dyan po sa Taiwan. Gayun din po si Cora Cabral, Geraldine Lee, Grace at uh, Jerry Lara, Si Marie at Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, si Attorney Jane San Benaventura, si Nino Molina, at gayon din po si Willie at Arlina Onglao ng Journeys of Faith at si Marites. Binabati rin natin, siyempre kasama sa Holy Land Group na yan, si Anton Santos at uh, Juliet O'Reilly. 
si Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok. Ang grupo po ni Highland, ni Chrissy, ni Rosely C., ni Rosebel D. at William D. Ang uh, uh, grupo naman ng mag-iina, ang Tantuiko group, si Dana, si Kathleen at si Tal. Ang mag-asawang Iris at Val Rivero. At gayon din po, siyempre si Grace Polido Tan at Nonoy Tan. I think meron na namang pilgrimage itong grupong ito. Alam ko. No? Si, uh, ang grupo rin po ni Tito Manny at uh, Tita Lulu Recto, kasama po ang kanilang makaibigan, nakasama naman natin sa March 2019 sa Holy Land at ang Workers of uh, Christ Pilgrimage Group ng 2019 na pinangunahan ni Jen Castillo. Uh, ang Pilgrimage Group din po ng October-November 2019 ni na Lady Bird, ni Gay, ni Ramon Pineda, belated happy birthday, no? Si Maricel Salapantan, Noel, Mercy at Trish, uh, si Father Divino Santos Rabang at si Nanang Marie. Oo, belated happy birthday Nanang Marie. At uh, tayo ay nagpapasalamat na nagkita-kita tayo diyan sa Iloco Sur, no? Si Maria Teresa Aboitis at si Mara at uh, si Lita at Mario Aningalan. Okay, mula naman po sa ating mga masugid na mga kasambuhay, uh, we would like to pray for the mass intentions of uh, the Sarte, Sandoval, Tan, Abaya, and Lo family. Gayun din po for the eternal repose of Buen Consejo, Edward Sarte, Manuel Jr., and Felix, and Carmelita, and Amelia, Anthony, and all the souls in Purgatory. Intentions din po ni Gemma Candela at Jeffrey Porcalio. Binabati rin natin at ipinapanalangin po natin ang crew at officers po ng MV Andromeda. Pinangungunahan po ni Captain Ronald de los Reyes. And then, ang intentions din po uh, ni Rose Ralieca Duduaco. No? Maraming salamat sa inyo pong uh, love offering. And we would like to pray for uh, Mr. Lee Ngay Him and for the mother of Rose, si Mamerta Duduaco. And uh, also... Uh, for the son, si Mark Angelo Saavedra. And then, si MC Icardo, na is din niyang ipanalangin po natin, ang mother niya na si Melina, Merlina, at ang dad niya na si Chris Teto. Si Froilan Labaro, uh, protection and good health, ni Shoni Bea, James Paul, at Froilan Labaro. Intentions din po ni Mayan CM. Si Lourdes Saraco na isyang ipanalangin natin ang kanya pong mga intentions especially for hope and for a stable job. Si Kat Sandolan would like us to pray for the thanksgiving of the family and the intentions of the birthday of Kath Crosby Christine and Amil. For the prayers also of the eternal repose of the souls, no? Uh, ng lahat ng nasa purgatory. And then, of course, uh, we'd like to pray for uh, the intentions of Pilar's Chocolato for thanksgiving, healing, and forgiveness. And for the eternal repose of uh, Hector, Pilar, Florentino, Mirna, Raul, Father Nene, Father Fernando, Salvacion, Pasensio, and ito namang si Semi Reyes Rosales. Gusto niya pong ipanalangin natin ang kanyang anak na si Roland Sheen, uh, isang seafarer, no? for good health. And uh, gayon din po, uh, 
for uh, the civil exam no in this coming march and then si patria kunanan for the personal intentions and thanksgiving especially for the healing of clotilde ang cow si celia rosas prayers for the healing of lorenz and christina and for wisdom and protection of michelle and lane Si Mayet Dadule Galicia, prayers for the soul of Berong La Chica, Jenny Garcia, and all the departed relatives. At si Maylin Colasito, uh, healing naman po ni Emeline Caballes Bidon, Danilo Herrera, Vance Mercado, Jeanette Pinulan Orculio. Si Beck Moso de Ramos, mas intentions for guidance and protection of Clarice, Karen, Pamela, Angeli Angelica, Ashley, and Bennett. Yan. Si Elena Ngo, uh, mas intentions for complete healing ni Edward Ngo, ni Kongo D, Ana Yuen, Auntie Maria Chung, Nancy Lee, Lito Trias, and Gigi Tuason. Si Delia Rezano, special intention for Rodel. Si Olive Makale, na isyang ipanalangin po natin ang kaluluwa ni Felix at Leonila Makale. At ito namang si Celia Rosas for the healing of the husband, of course. And uh, si Maki Takanay. Recovery of the Cousin, si Mariel Molina, at si Jima Buma at Special Intentions for the Healing of Labuan, si Nong Ramos o Ramon, si Ben Rose, si Janet, no? and si Al. At uh, si MB Domenica, pero di po siya mga intentions dito, Uh, for the healing of April Joy Hernandez, Nanay Carolina, Christopher Moral, and all the sick members of the family. And uh, si Belen Bruso Regalado. Yan. Healing of Daughter Bianca who is suffering from hydrocephalus. Si Malu Gonzalez Remedio for the souls of Gregoria Lucy Gonzalez, Josephine Gamo, Mel Espejo, Eric Ferreros, Belen Ferreros, at Joseph Manois. Yan. Ito nang po si uh, uh, Maria Luisa Remigio Figueroa na isyang ipanalangin natin ang kaluluwa ni Eduardo at... Uh, Gayun din lahat ng dead relatives and friends. And of course, we would like to greet and to pray for the intentions of Dr. Rico Martin and Axel Gerochi and Dr. Azel Jade Tan of Gerochi Dental and Implant Center dyan po sa Montivar Building, Jupiter, Makati. Ngayon po ay ikapitong linggo ng karaniwang panahon and uh, alam niyo po yung readings po natin for this Sunday, they would like to uh, tell us about holiness. Yun ang dating sa akin ng mga pagbasa. Unang-una, sa first reading po sa Leviticus chapter 19, ang source ng holiness, yung challenge to be holy, ay uh, galing po sa isang simpleng bagay. And it is because, We are made in the image and the likeness of the Lord. Hindi lang tayo ginawa ng Panginoon, tayo'y ginawa niya na kamuka, kahawig, kawangis, and God is holy. Panalan Diyos, no? Uh, every time we come to Mass, we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Banal, banal, banal ang Diyos. At sapagkat tayo po ay ginawang kawangis ng Diyos, therefore, Our call, our basic call is really to holiness. Pero ang napaganda dito sa first reading sa Leviticus, dililinaw po sa atin na ang holiness ay ang, kaka ang, na ang other name for holiness is love. No? 
when you grow in love, you become more perfect in love. You become more like God because God is love and therefore, you become holy as God is holy. Oh, ganun po yung connection, ano? And uh, sa second reading naman natin, ang challenge po ng second reading natin, dapat yung holiness hindi lang panlabas. Ang sabi ni San Pablo sa second reading, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, We are the temple of God. Tayo ay pinananahanan ng Diyos. Tahanan tayo ng Diyos. So, ang holiness natin should be part of our essence. It should be part of our kalikasan, of our nature. At do sa gospel, pinapakita po sa atin, ano ba dapat ang ilan sa mga nagpapakita na tayo nga ay nagkakaroon ng paglago in holiness. Alam nyo, mahirap po kasi sabihin itong taong ito banal, yan banal. What can be some of the measurements Para sa atin mismo na malaman natin na tayo po'y lumalago in holiness. First of all, sa gospel natin, true holiness makes us peacekeepers. Yan, mapagmahal sa kapayapaan. True holiness makes us non-violent. Kung tayo po'y lumalago sa holiness, tayo po ay uh, nagiging mahinahon. Hindi po tayo padalos-dalos. Hindi po tayo yung violent, no? And then, holiness makes us love even our enemies. So, mga kasambuhay, maganda siguro ang tanong yan, ano? Tayo ba are we becoming more and more peacemakers? Are we learning more and more to be non-violent sa gitna ng napakaraming violence? Violence in action, violence in words na pumapalibot sa atin. Tayo ba do we learn to be more considerate about our enemies? No? Ha, no? Alam nyo po, uh, kung minsan napakabilis man, napakadali mag-post sa Facebook ng kung ano-ano. Ha? It's easy to call its other names on Facebook. Di po ba? No? Para naging kultura na nga yan na Kung galit ka sa isang tao, ilabas mo yung hugot mo, iposting mo para marami ang mag-like o marami ang nagtanong. Why friend? Ah, eh, alam niyo po, real holiness really is a call to be very reflective about our thoughts, words, and actions. At uh, sa muli po nating pagpasok sa panahon ng kwaresma, itong darating na Miyerkules, Sana nga po, itong panahon ng kwaresma becomes really a moment of grace. A moment again to study ourselves. How can we be more and more like the person that the Lord wants us to be? Ha? Narito na po ang ating banal na misa. Pangungunahan po tayo ni Father Arman Tangi, ang amin pong pari na artist, no? Marami na huyang ginuhit na mga paintings ng Madonna at ng uh, Panginoong Yesus in modern times. No? Okay, so narito na po ang ating banal na misa. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest, I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the Church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen.
Let's start in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yes. your spirit. Jesus tells us today that as God's children, we have to imitate His love, which does not limit itself to good people. As believers, we are not called to remain passive before evil and injustice around us. May this Eucharist be the source of our inspiration and strength in loving our brothers and sisters. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us give glory to God. Let us pray. Run, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, Be holy, for I the Lord your God am holy. You shall not bear hatred for your brother or sister in your heart. Though you may have reproved for your fellow citizen, do not incur sin because of him. 
take no revenge, and cherish no grudge against any of your people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requit us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool, so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, and they are in vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world of or life or death, or the present or the future, all belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. You have heard it, it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad 
and on the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you have loved those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi pwedeng ituwid ang pagkakamali ng isa pang pagkakamali. Ito ay lalong magiging mali at walang katapusang pagkakamali. Meron tayong uh, joke o ta uh, biro sa ating mga Pilipino na kapag ikaw ay binato ng bato, Batuhin mo ng tinapay, pero kasama ang garapon. Ang katwiran, hindi tayo dapat palangan, palamang. Bakit ka palalamang? Gantihan mo para patas ang laban. Pero sabi ko nga, hindi pwedeng ituwid ang pagkakamali ng isa pang pagkakamali dahil ito ay lalong magiging mali. Isa sa mga text messages na natanggap ko na hindi ko napigilang mapatawa ay ito. Ganito ang sinabi. Of all my friends, ikaw ang pinakakakaiba. One of a kind. Talagang uh, unique class by yourself. Kasi lahat ng kaibigan ko ay normal. Kung susundin natin ang turo sa Ibanghelyo sa, na ating narinig, hindi tayo normal. Kung tutuusin, lugi, tanga, baliw. Kaya, hindi nakakapagtaka kung kakaunti ang sumusunod kay Kristo sa kanyang mga aral. Kaya, kakaunti rin ang kanyang mga kaibigan. Dahil kinakailangang sumunod sa aral na itinuturo niya na alam natin na mahirap gawin. Kung sasabihin sa inyo ng iba na mahalin mo ang iyong kaaway, ipagdasal mo ang tumutulig sa sayo, siguro sasabihin mo, tama bang narinig ko? Kung tama, sira ang ulo niya. masasabi natin. Paano mo mamahalin ang pumatay sa iyong kapatid? Ang gumahasa sa anak mo? Ang lumustay ng pera at yung kabuhayan dahil sa bisyo? O ang kapitbahay mo na pasaway, nakabibinging tugtugan at kantahan hanggang sa Ikalaw, uh, alas dos ng madaling araw. Paano ipagdadasal ang taong naninira sa iyo? Gumagawa ng chismis na hindi totoo. Pero ito talaga ang itinuturo ni Kristo na gawin natin sa ating kapwa. Lahat ng ito mahirap gawin at isabuhay. Pero nung sinabi ng Panginoon na mahalin mo ang iyong kaaway at mahalin ang iyong kapwa-tao, practically, yung kapwa-tao mo at yung kaaway mo ay iisa. Kaya, kinakailangan ng grasya at tulong ng Panginoon para masunod natin ang kanyang hinihiling at gustong gawin sa ating buhay. Ang pagpapatawad ay sabi ko nga ay hindi madaling gawin. Ang gumante or to get even o para magpatas ay kalimitang 
sagot o kultura sa buong mundo ng mga tao. Mata sa mata, ngipin sa ngipin. Pero sabi nga ng charismatic leader na si Mahatma Gandhi, If we live by an eye to an eye kind of justice, marahil ang lahat ng tao sa mundo ay bulag ngayon. Walang mananalo sa gantihan kung ito ang ating gagawin. It doesn't mean we will condone the crime or evil. Ang halimbawa ay si John Paul II na nagbigay sa atin ng kaliwanagan ng sagot. Matapos mapagaling sa sugat na nilikha ng pagkakabaril ng isang Turkish assassin, binisita niya sa kulungan at pinarating niya na ang kanyang pagpatawad ay ginagawa niya sa gumawa ng krimen sa kanya. Pero kahit na siya pinatawad, nananatili siyang nakakulong para pagbayaran ang kanyang krimen na ginawa. So, posible na magpatawad at magbahal ng kaaway pero pagdurusahan pa rin niya ang ginawa niyang kasalanan. Sa ibanghelyo natin ngayon, sa palagay ko, tatlong bagay tungkol sa pagpapatawad ang itinuturo ng Panginoon sa atin. Una, forgiveness is a must. Kinakailangan. Hindi tayo binigyan ng choice o pagpipili na pwede kang magpatawad o hindi ka pwedeng magpatawad. Kinakailangan kang magpatawad dahil ang Diyos ay Diyos ng pagpapatawad at bilang mga anak ng Diyos, kinakailangan nating magpatawad, gustuhin man natin o hindi. Pangalawang itinuturo sa ating ng Panginoon sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon ay ang pagpapatawad ay walang katapusan. Hindi nagbibilang. Maraming pagkakataon na naingkwentro ko ang mga tao na sa say Father, ilang beses ko na yang pinatawad pero sa ngayon hindi na. Sobra-sobra na ang pagpapatawad ko. Kaya hindi ko na siya mapapatawad. Sabi nga ng Panginoon, kung paano natin tinatrato ang ating kapwa, ganun din itatrata, itatrato tayo lalong lana na may, kung may kinalaman sa pagpapatawad ng ating kapwa. Sa Old Testament, you can only forgive three times. Tatlong beses. Pero si San Pedro, gustong magpa-impress sa Panginoon at ang sabi niya, seven times. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, short ka pa rin. You have to forgive seventy times seven times. Ibig sabihin, walang katapusan. Hindi nagbibilang at kinakailangang magpatawad sa kapwa na nakagawa ng kasalanan. Pangatlo, ang tunay na pagpapatawad ay buong-buo o total. Hindi pwedeng at hindi na kinakailangang halong katimpa yung mga kasalanan na nagawa matapos patawarin. Sabi nga, forgive and forget. Kasi madaling magpatawad pero yung makalimutan yung ginawa ng isang tao doon tayo nahihirapan. Pero kung tunay na pagpapatawad ang gagawin natin, kinakailangan nating kalimutan upang magsimula ng bagong buhay. Uh, sa aking karanasan, this is a very uh, common experience. Lalong-lalo na dun sa mga husband and wife. No? Yung, yung may friendships o yung may mga, mga tao na may karelasyon. Kasi sinasabi na ang mga babae daw, yung asawang babae, hindi lang hysterical, 
kundi historical no o ung katen at o at buling uulitin yung mga nagawang kasalanan ng kanilang asawa pero kung tunay na pagpapatawad kalilimutan na naalala ko tuloy yung uh, tinanong ko yung aking kaibigang babae na nagpatawad sa kasalanan ng kanyang ng kanyang asawang lalaki at ang sabi ko akala ko ba pinatawad mo na yung asawa mo bakit ulit-ulit mo pang inuungkat yung kanyang nagawang kasalanan noong nakaraan sabi niya oh father pinatawad ko na siya pero kaya ko inuulit para maalala niya na pinatawad ko na siya ang punto pag nagpatawad kalilimutan upang magsimula ng bagong buhay. Sabi nga, ang Kristyanismo ay hindi madali. Christianity is not an easy religion. It wasn't meant to be. Pero, kung mahal natin ang Panginoon, handa tayo dapat magsakripisyo. Dahil ang pagmamahal, kaakibat lagi ang sakripisyo. It entails sacrifice. Kung may magsasabi sa inyo na mahal kita, pero hindi handa na magsakripisyo para sa inyo, peke at hindi tunay ang pagmamahal. Dahil kung may sakripisyo, may pagmamahal. At kung may pagmamahal, andon ang Diyos. Amen. Let us recite the creed. Father's holiness in our daily lives. Let us ask the Lord for the courage to live up to the challenge of the gospel as we say, Hear the prayer of your people, Lord. Hear the prayer of your people, Lord. That nations torn by war and violence may settle their conflicts through dialogue and peaceful negotiation, we pray. Hear the prayer of your people, Lord. That warring factions among our people may realize that violence begets more violence while reconciliation assures in peace and hope. We pray. Hear the prayer of your people, Lord. That oppressors and violent people may open their eyes to see that the love of God is an invitation for them 
to reform their lives, we pray. Hear the prayer of your people, Lord, that those who work for the cause of peace may be given strength and perseverance in their difficult mission, we pray. Hear the prayer of your people, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Hear the prayer of your people, Lord. May our prayers, O loving Father, help us to persevere to live a holy life through our sincere service to our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the scripture we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will ever reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now, now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting 
that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen. In his glory, his new life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of salvation, which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you. And in his kindness, pour out upon your gifts the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May God keep you, your hearts, with attentive to his words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so, may you always understand what is good and right, and be found every hastening along the path of God's commands, made coerce with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tayo po uh, nagpapasalamat kay Father Arman Tangi sa kanya pong pangunguna sa atin sa Banal na Misa ngayon pong uh, 7th uh, Sunday of Ordinary Time, last Sunday of February. At ngayon naman po tayo dadako sa ating uh, pabaong katikismo mula po sa Laudato Si, ang encyclical ni Pope Francis tungkol sa ecology at sa atin pong pangangalaga sa kalikasan. Nasa chapter 5 po tayo. In fact, nagsisimula tayo ng chapter 5 sa pamagitan po ng araw na ito, yung lesson natin. At matapos pong bigyan ng diin ni Pope Francis ano yung mga issues ng kalikasan, paano natin dapat tignan ng isang integral o kabuuan na ekolohiya, Uh, caring for the ecosystem hindi lamang po yung mga halaman yung mga hayop ano ko hindi a total approach no 
Uh, ngayon, ang pinag-uusapan naman po sa chapter 5 ay yung mga mas practical na consideration. Kung tayo po ay talagang gagawa ng maayos para po sa uh, ating mundo na atin pong common home, no? binigay sa atin to bilang tahanan ng Panginoon, then first of all, the Pope says, we have to dialogue as an international community. Yan. No, ang planeta hindi lang para sa isang bansa. Oh, maaring ang Australia, ang ibang lugar sa Europa nangunguna po sila sa sistema ng pangangalaga ng ecology at ecosystem. Pero hindi po sa patyong kasi ang mundo hindi lang sa kanila, para sa atin din. So dapat there must be an international dialogue. Yan po ang point ni Pope Francis. We are living in a world of interdependence. Yung ginagawa ng isa, eh kahit na linis ka ng linis, ayos ka ng ayos, yung isa naman ay burara, o oh, kalat ng kalat. Yan, no? Kung ano-ano ang pinagtatapon sa karagatan, eh wala din mangyayari. Uh, sabi po ni Pope Francis, dapat ang pangangalaga sa ating uh, kalikasan must be a dialogue of international concern. It must be the product of global consensus. Di ba? Oh. Kaya nga po, merong mga iba't ibang mga conferences. Eh, ne? Uh, Earth Conference of 1992, uh, 1972 Stockholm Declaration, on the obligation to uh, uh, be able to reduce pollution. Ngayon, ano? Um, the Basel Convention on Hazardous Waste. No? Uh, napakarami po yan. Yung uh, mga international conventions on climate change and global warning, warming. No? Marami yan. Kaya lang ang problema, sabi ni Pope Francis, Politics and business has been very slow and there seems to be a lack of political will. Parang, okay, ang gaganda na itong mga dokumentong ito sa pag-uusap, yung mga final documents na yan, sa deklarasyon. Pero mula doon sa papel at pinag-usapan, kani po Francis, kakaunti pa lang yung talagang nagagawa internationally to safeguard our common home. No? Uh, walang suitable mechanism, periodic review, at penalty para do sa mga hindi sumusunod. Totoo po yan. Ano? Wala nang magawa UN. Eh. ba? Diba? Oh, hanggang konferensya lang. Pero meron bang police power? Yo, yan ang problema. No? And then, another thing is that... Uh, Nando pa rin yung reliance natin on uh, yung mga conventional uh, sources of energy tulad po ng fossil energy, tulad po ng coal energy. No? etong mga ito po ay maliba sa ginagamit natin, may mga side effects yan sa environment. Another thing, uh, merong malaking injustice sa international dialogue. Bakit po? Kasi yung malaking mga bansa, they tend to bully the smaller nations na dapat, oy, dapat pantay tayo dito sa ating carbon dioxide, uh, uh, carbon dioxide reduction. Pero sa tutuusin, eh, talaga naman mas maraming ginagawa yung malaking bansa, yung talagang developed country. etong isang country na ito napakaliit, developing pa hindi ho pareho dapat yung standard. Yun ang point ni Pope Francis. No? Uh, there's a great injustice in the solutions. No? Uh, kaya sa isang punto, alam nyo, tama rin po yung sinabi ni President Duterte na sabi niya, eh, bakit tayo sasama niya sa mga carbon reduction na yan? Eh? Ilang porsyento lang ba sa atin eh, yung sa ibang bansa tulad ng China, tulad ng Amerika? Eh ba, eh, ang laki-laki ng kanilang mga carbon dioxide emission. Oh, in a sense, tama po yun. Ano? Hindi po proporsyon yung sistema na ginagawa sa international dialogue. So, Pope Francis 
poses for more responsible, more justifiable na policies regarding sa international dialogue on the care of the ecosystem. No? Tutuloy po natin yan sa susunod na uh, pagtatanghal po natin ng Sambuhay TV Mass. In the meantime, we would like to uh, invite all of you to be a Kasambuhay Poline Cooperator. Yan, yan po tawag natin doon sa mga uh, tumutulong sa atin sa apostolado, Cooperator. Pauline Cooperator. Kaya lang, kayo'y tutulong sa sambuhay, kaya kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator. Sa panong paraan? Number one, of course, on screen, nandiyan po yung ating mga remittance uh, na bank remittance uh, possibilities. No, alam nyo po, uh, we hope na by June, we will start the broadcast from Our Lady of Soros Parish kung saan po naroon si Father Resti at ako, we would like it to re really be a Paris atmosphere, a Paris for OFWs. Kasi yung Our Lady of Soros, katabi lang huyan ng OWA, yung Overseas uh, uh, Workers Welfare Association. No? So, uh, that needs a lot of resource. Kaya po, maraming salamat sa mga nag-pledge. Ano? Uh, nasa screen po natin ang iba't ibang bank accounts. You can also be a kasambuhay uh, Pauline cooperator by sending us yung inyong feedback, yung inyong mga mass intentions, kaya nasa screen naman po natin ang dedicated text number natin. And you can be also a Pauline cooperator by uh, spreading the news no? sa mga kaibigan, sa mga relatives na nasa abroad, lalo-lalo na nasa screen po natin ang ating ginagamit na internet, Facebook, YouTube account that you can ask your uh, relatives and friends abroad to access. At dito naman sa Pilipinas, ang cable networks na gamit po ng TV Maria. Sa ngalan po ng uh, Sambuhay TV Production Team, Si Father Resti de la Peña, si Cleric Edward Dantes, si uh, Reverend Kiv de Matatak, iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang panalangin ito ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me, guard my mind, my heart, my senses that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions that I may always please you. Jesus, my God, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Jesus, our Lord, our Savior.